just got home from the grocery store so i want to do my weekly grocery haul here so i went to whole foods i know in one of my last vlogs i said that i was over it but decided to give it another chance and didn't disappoint me that bad honestly i just went there for eggs that was like my main goal 40 dollars later here we are this is how I am. You guys should know this by now. Okay, so I went to two different grocery stores. Did I say that already? I don't know. But um, that's what I went there for. I like to get the brown eggs from there just because I feel like they're the best quality. And then I got a package of chicken. I'm going to make lemon pepper chicken this week. And I think I'm just going to prep it just for salads and quick, easy to reheat type of dinner, meal, whatever. I got Greek yogurt for breakfast. I love eating Greek yogurt bowls. It's the best. I didn't want to commit to like a larger one just because I'm not sure like how much I'm going to eat it. I've been eating a lot of toast lately, so just figured I'd get the smaller one. I also like to add this protein to it. I just bought this off of Amazon. This is one of my favorite proteins. It's really good. There's no like weird, gross stuff in it. And I feel like it's a hidden gem, so I'll leave it linked down below. I got organic tomatoes. Most Whole Foods, you have the option whether or not you want to buy organic or non-organic. And most of the time, just to save money, I buy not organic. Bananas, they have such a thick skin that you don't need to buy organic. But the only option at the Whole Foods that I live by is organic, so that's that. I picked up this hummus. This is, I don't even know if I like this brand, but I keep on buying it because I can't remember it's the cedars brand jalapeno hummus i love jalapeno hummus so i hope it's good got a big thing of baby kale for salads and all of that i got a cucumber i got more baby carrots love having those i picked up one of these southwest chopped salad kits it looked good it's easy i'm all about convenience lately an avocado got these simple mills crackers they were on sale because i would never buy these when they're not on sale they're like five dollars for a box and i'm sure there's like 12 crackers in here cracked black pepper flavor i don't know i thought it'd be good with the hummus i've just been like on a cracker snacky kick lately which probably isn't the best but whatever i got a seltzer because i'm addicted i wanted to buy a whole case but couldn't carry all this stuff on my own and then i got some almond milk just the whole foods brand one so that's whole foods and then i went to another grocery store and i got more hummus because like how much hummus do we need here a lot apparently so this is the sabra salsa verde hummus i bought this before and loved it so very excited about that like what I got more crackers because one box isn't enough. I got the Mary's jalapeno crackers. I thought it would be good with the hummus, just like a nice mix. I've never tried this flavor before. And I've seen a lot of people like topping these on salads just for like an added crunch. So I might try that. I got two bananas, no explanation there. <laughs> got two zucchinis got my weekly watermelon can't wait to cut this up right after i get done filming with this and this is something a little a little weird but it's jello so i feel like the sugar-free fat-free jello is a good healthy snack i've been on a sugar craving kick lately like my sugar cravings are out of control. So I was like, why don't I just make this and make it with almond milk? Probably gonna be amazing. I got the chocolate and then the cheesecake flavor. And I have strawberries and I might dip them in this. So keep you guys posted on how that turns out, but I'm pretty pumped. There's 30 calories per quarter package and there's four servings in a pack, 120 calories. I'm diet hacking over here. You know, summer is right around the corner. So I just made almond butter granola and the trick is to make sure it completely cools before you like dig into it or put it into a container. So that's what makes it all clustery is when you just let it completely cool. But anyways, I was thinking I have this, you guys have seen like the Purely Elizabeth granola. So I have her cookbook and I realized this recipe is not even in there. So that's kind of lame. I found this online, the, re the recipe for this. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I love topping my Greek yogurt bowls with this as well as just eating it as a snack with almond milk. It's just so, so good. And it's so much better for you than cereal. I am running to Zara and TJ Maxx to go return those things that I bought in my last vlog and complained about. It is Friday. Work has been slow, so I'm just gonna get out there and do some returns. Okay, back home. 
I'm just shoving a salad in my mouth right now because I am actually going on a Bumble BFF date tonight with a girl who lives in my area. So last minute thing, I was out shopping and I ended up texting her trying to make plans for this weekend. She's like, do you want to meet up tonight? I was like, sure. I think we're just getting drinks. So that's why I'm eating right now. I got this cute top from TJ Maxx. Adorable. Guys, I have the find of the century from TJ Maxx. Also from TJ Maxx, I got an Italian seasoning because I'm low on mine. And I got the chili lime seasoning because I have watermelon. And this on watermelon is so good. You guys need to try it if you haven't tried it already. Trader Joe's sells this, but since TJ Maxx had it, I was like, why not? I never really go to Trader Joe's anymore. So good. So many apartment updates. Okay, are you ready for it? Got this cute little lamp. So the desk is coming along. A lot of you mentioned to get a white one of these pads, but that will clash with the rug. I'm gonna put like two decorative books under the lamp and I think that'll make it look really nice. I also got another shag rug because it looked so bare under this media console. I know this is a lot of rug going on. I also was thinking of getting some sort of clothing rack to go here just to kind of put as a divider or something the find of the century guys is this like pompous grass look at that it's so nice there's 15 dollars they had two of them but i was like you don't need to just get one i've literally been on the hunt for this it's time to shove this salad in my face and probably eat some more and then get ready and i will follow up with you guys when I look much better than I do now. Apologies for the lighting. Let's do a get ready with me psycho edition here. So I just sprayed a dry shampoo in my hair. I've been shedding a lot lately. Very concerning. It's very concerning. So I just ate that salad in like eight seconds. My scalp is very dry. Sorry, this mess behind me. Whoops. We also love that I'm like literally at the bottom of this. Like you wouldn't even know what it was. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream and I like cut the thing off because I have to use every last drop. So safe to say that I'm probably going to be repurchasing this. I like that it has SPF in it already. So that's good. There's nothing better than finding like exactly what you were looking for at TJ Maxx. It's like a diamond in the rough. Like that's how they, they explain it as. And that's actually their terms too, by the way, because I, my job, we work with TJ Maxx and like off price retailers. And they say like how UGG the brand that I work for. When you find UGG at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's like a diamond in the rough. So, the littlest things make me happy, you know? It doesn't take much, it really doesn't. What's annoying is I'm putting on all this makeup and I'm probably only gonna be out for an hour. I do feel better about myself when I like get together and go out and dress cute, be social. I try to do it like once a week. Normally Fridays I'm like super exhausted and I never feel like doing anything, but this is just a spur of the moment thing and I'm saying yes to things now. You just gotta, because saying yes also leads to more opportunities. I love how this was empty like two weeks ago or something and now it's like filled to the brim with stuff that's me is anyone else like this that it doesn't even have a top discussed <laughs> so yeah i want to upgrade and like get nicer products from better brands again i don't even think this brand exists anymore what's this brand name called hard candy do they make that anymore they definitely don't is this from high school no this is from college, I'm pretty sure. I never buy like expensive makeup that I never ever ever did. I'm always just like a drugstore girl. So as I put highlighter all over my freaking face, normally I just like to spend money on clothes. Like that's just what I do. So I've never really bought anything from Sephora. Like the It Cosmetics thing, that was like a birthday thing that I got. I'm thinking about getting Botox. What do you guys think? I feel like I should be getting preventative Botox, especially since I'm like showing my face all the time. I just feel like it would look a little better. Might do that. I also want to get it like right here. There's like weird dimples. I've noticed when I like watch my videos back, there's like weird dimples right here. Are you guys going to hate me if I do that? I'll just not tell you. Your girl's not getting any younger, so my, might as well start now. Something I've been thinking about lately. It's so interesting to me, like now that I'm going on this Bumble BFF date, it's so interesting how people just like click with certain people and then you just don't get along with certain people just based on your personality. It's so interesting to me. I also watched an apartment tour today and the girl painted her ceiling, so that's what I wanna do now. But that's a lot. 
Like I didn't even want to paint one wall and now I'm trying to paint the ceiling. So New York City is going to be fully opened as of July 1st, I'm pretty sure, which is really cool. I think like indoor dining will be 100% by then. I'm not entirely sure of the details, but that's cool. One other thing that I wanted to mention that I was just thinking about is I've been thinking a lot lately about like living here in New York. I've been here for almost four years now and even tonight I chose last minute to go out with this girl and it just goes to show you that New York City literally has so many opportunities. I feel like everyone says that all the time but it really is and even you know like I showed in my last vlog that guy came up to me in the subway and he like took professional pictures of me and that just happened to be like a timing thing and it's just so crazy the amount of opportunities that arise when you actually allow them to i think back to like all the opportunities i've had since living here and it's just wild and i'm so grateful so grateful like this is like my dream my ultimate dream of my life i can't even bend down in these jeans I love that you guys think I'm funny because I think I'm funny. <laughs> I'm not conceited. You just gotta laugh at yourself. Life is way too freaking short. When I was single and I used to go on dates with guys, I used to be like, every single guy is beige. Where are all like the exciting guys? Like all, all these guys were just beige. That's, that's the only way I could describe it. They were beige. Because <laughs> beige is boring. Beige is the color of my apartment. <laughs> I was underwhelmed by the men that I was seeing. I deserve someone that's equally as fun as me. How would you guys feel if I made a Facebook group and all you guys could join and we could all be friends and like meet in real life, we could meet virtually because I kind of want to do like a virtual book club. I was thinking about it, but I'm really bad at reading books. I've joined probably since I've been living in New York, I've joined five book clubs and haven't attended one single meeting. <laughs> I'm really not good with that. I don't know why when I'm like forced to do something. I already have like a name for the Facebook group, but I just want to make sure that if I make it that you guys would actually be interested and would want to like meet with other girls because like I've said on my channel, obviously tonight I'm going on a Bumble BFF date, but I kind of want to make a space where we can all meet and talk. I was gonna solely make it for New York City and New Jersey, but I don't want to limit it that way because I don't think that's very fair. So let me know if you guys would be interested. I have had a lot of success with Bumble BFF, but I just think that this would be an easier way because we're on Facebook. Like if you wanna hang out with someone, you'll hang out with them. It's not like you have to swipe and like wait for someone to give a text message and have like the small talk, but I just don't wanna put effort into it if no one cares. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. And again, like I'm not gonna be offended at all if you guys don't care you guys just strictly want the vlogs and strictly want to not do anything but watch me that's fine too girl don't you love when that happens hey guys so as i'm getting ready totally forgot i wanted to mention what perfume i've been wearing lately guys i'm telling you dossier is literally my favorite if you've never heard of them you need to check them out they are a fragrance brand that basically has dupes of all the designer fragrances at a small amount of the price of what you would pay for a designer fragrance so i honestly cannot say enough good thing oh my god it smells so good mark my words i will never ever 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 buy a designer scent because of dossier so this one i have right here it's chanel chanel it's a woody hyacinth it's the chanel chant the bottle is so nice and i just realized i never mentioned this before but it actually like is a magnet closure so i love the packaging super sleek the smells are incredible you would never, ever, ever know. What fragrance are you wearing? Oh my God, it's Chanel. And this one, another Chanel, guys. It's Oriental Oak Moss, and it's inspired by Chanel, the Coco Mademoiselle. Did I pronounce that right? Oh my God. It's unbelievable, and I don't know how they do it, but you guys need to try it out. I will leave a discount down below. I love this company. I honestly, that's all we need to say. Two Chanel, $30 for a bottle. I've talked about them in, in previous videos, but they do send you testers. So you just test it out see if it smells good and then decide if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, you can just return it. There's no questions asked. Returns are free. It's so easy. I love the testers. Obviously I love every perfume that I get from there, but the tester you can just like slip in your bag when you're going out, which I will do tonight. Amazing. And if you're traveling, there you go. 
I got you. This is what I'm gonna be smelling like this month. So good. Chanel baby. I think we're gonna do Mademoiselle it is. It's a fresh smell. I'm obsessed. Can you guys tell? Cause I'm obsessed. I smell great, but no joke guys. Seriously, you need to check them out. I'm always telling you guys like I'm 100% transparent with everything that I review on my channel and this like is the real deal. So you will not be disappointed. Who doesn't want to smell great for summer? Hot girl summer. These booties are from Shein. I'm doing a haul soon. Leather jacket. I wear this literally like every single weekend. It's the best because it's like cropped. I think it's super cute. And this is this is Saturday. No, wow, it's for. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. So this morning I'm just doing a bunch of measurements because I'm trying to figure out where I can put a clothing rack in here because I feel like for try on hauls and stuff it just looks nicer to have the things hanging behind me. So I thought that would be really beneficial. So I'm thinking of putting it either right here or over here in this blank space. So I'm hoping that I can get one that can fit in both places just in case like if I don't like it in one area I can always like interchange it but other than that, those are like the only two spots that are available in this apartment. Also wanted to mention when I first woke up, I could still smell that perfume on me. That's wild. Hey guys, so I'm just getting ready to run out for the day, but I just wanted to say I filmed a clip in my last vlog of me addressing what's been going on in my personal life and why I moved out and all of that. So. I ended up deleting it last minute just because I'm really nervous to share that only because I don't want to give like too much information but I also don't want to leave you guys hanging and I don't know why I deleted it at last minute it's not like a big deal but I'm gonna roll that clip now so you guys can kind of see what's going on and okay so actually I'm not gonna end the vlog off here I've been thinking and I've been reading everyone's comments I literally read every single comment and someone mentioned about how now that I put myself out on YouTube I somehow owe something to you guys I owe an explanation as to why I moved and I'm not sure if I really agree with that however when I used to watch my favorite youtubers like religiously and some drastic change would happen in their life like I was always so curious and then I would scroll through the comments and try to figure out what's been going on I do think that it's hard for me to like word this but I think everyone does deserve some sort of privacy but I I do also agree with when you do put yourself out there you should give some sort of reasoning as to what's going on and I guess I haven't and you know like you guys are probably confused like why I thought you moved out like how are you not with your boyfriend still you have pictures of him in your apartment like that's not really making sense so I basically just wanted to be honest and say we decided no moving in with someone during a pandemic when you're spending 24 7 with someone it's not easy and i know that there's people who have been in relationships and they moved in with their significant other and it's the best thing that they've ever had but i also think there's something to be said about living in a one bedroom apartment in a city. There was a time period when i was afraid to even walk outside because we didn't know what was going on and it was just like such a weird time and i think just being on top of someone 24 7 not leaving the apartment you're inevitably gonna have disagreements and fight and just being around someone that much too is just like way too much and i'm the type of person like i love my alone time i cherish my alone time it just was too much that's what happened and now we're just trying to figure things out now just want to tell you guys like what's been going on but yeah i don't live there anymore i obviously moved it's for the better like i said i found this apartment when i was in florida i did it while i was away just because it was so much easier just wanted to do it remotely and that's that so i'm starting to love it here i don't feel one way or another about living alone so before i moved in with my boyfriend I lived with two other girls, but when the pandemic began, they both moved out for six months. So I was living by myself, but it like wasn't my own space. It was still like our shared space. I hated that apartment and 
it never felt like home to me. I, I disliked everything about it. I, like I could just go on for days. But then I moved in with my boyfriend. But uh, yeah, six months, just that's all we lasted together. So whatever, it's fine. But now we're so much better now that we're apart. So that's great. Also just wanna mention, I rushed into things with moving in and it kind of just like happened really quickly because of like the state that the world was in. It just made more sense to move in together. And if you have any hesitations or any feeling that maybe something doesn't feel right, go with your gut. That's what I've learned through all of this. Always listen to your gut because it's never wrong and you will always feel that same exact way in your gut. So this is just me being honest with you guys in case you were wondering, but I'm on the fence about whether or not I think how much should be shared. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna go into detail about, I mean, maybe I will one day, but I just wanna let you guys know that we were literally living on top of each other and we couldn't take it. That's that. So we ended up booking a trip to Austin today. I have been wanting to go to Austin for years now, probably for a solid five years. I've wanted to visit. I've only been to San Antonio once and I have this weird obsession with Texas, even though I've only been there once. I've always just wanted to visit and I could definitely see myself moving there one day maybe if I can ever let go of New York, not sure. But I wanted to share with you guys what my outfit is for the day. Before I head out, I'm spending the day with Leo. So, Shein crop top and then a Shein like jacket, oversized, but I'm sweating right now. So that's why I have it like so. And then I'm just wearing a Shein necklace and Amazon earrings. But also the star of the show is this purse. This is by a company called Teddy Blake. Look at how pretty this is. So basically it's designer handbag quality at a very affordable price. I just think this is so gorgeous. This is, I kind of like the way it looks when it's undone like this. I love that it has this little top handle, but also it's so nice to have this long strap for when I am walking around in the city. Look at this. It looks so cute with this outfit. I will leave their information down below. This isn't sponsored by the way, just so you know. So here is a better look. How cute is this? Kind of matches my lips, but what a cute handbag. It's the perfect size too. And I just think it's so classy looking. It's super structured. They have a ton of fun colors on their website if you wanna check them out if you're in the market for a handbag. But nothing's in there yet. I have to go like put my things in it before I get going. But really good. Super great quality. I actually used to work at Kate Spade, the Kate Spade outlet. And this is better quality. All right, I'm out for the day. Happy Saturday. Anyways, guys, I just got the most best thing in the world in the mail. I told you guys about happy hour. We're making this happen. Guess what I got? I got a juicer. It's gonna be great. I can't wait for this. So stay tuned for that. Also, a new recipe coming soon that involves these guys. They're the extra fancy dates. We only do extra fancy around here. I can't wait. I'm so pumped for that juicer. I also can't wait to make like green juices too. So maybe I'll come up with a little recipe for that. up lunch at Ruby's. I have been wanting to eat there ever since I moved to New York. It was like a two hour wait, but it was so worth it. 10 out of 10. And now I think we're gonna go walk along the water.
so we went to go get drinks at this one place on the water but it's closed so now we're going to an area called stone street there's stones on the street <laughs> <laughs> We are having a day. We're meeting up with friends right now. We've been out and about. We might do a shot of tequila. Keep it posted. So yeah, after that clip of us saying we were going to take a tequila shot, we didn't. But we ended up meeting up with one of Leo's friends. And then we went out to like a bar until the bars closed at midnight. And then we walked home. So we probably walked about 10 miles total, which was insane. So much walking. But yeah, it was a great weekend. Really one of the best weekends I've had in a while, so I'm super happy. And if you made it this far, I just want to say a thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations or just feedback of what you'd like to see more or less of in my videos, please let me know. I hope you guys are loving the vlogs. I think you guys are. But I was happy that I was able to get a lot of footage of the city this weekend, like I promised. I told you guys that I would be going out and about, and I think... That you guys like that the best when I'm out and doing things instead of just all apartment stuff so yeah let me know let me know what you like to see and I will see you in my next video Bye.